What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I am excited to bring you this particular video about the new 2021 F-150. If you're like me and everybody else on this planet and you're thinking about possibly ordering an F-150, you're looking at the ordering guide or whatever you can find and you're thinking, OMG, there is absolutely no way I'm fixing to understand that. So before we get started in this video, we're going to go over every option and every package that we can possibly cram into a video on the XL and XLT versions of the F-150, 2021 specific. And so uh, it took a lot of time to make this video because we had to literally go through the entire ordering guide, find out what is and isn't available, the new combinations and everything, and we're going to try and provide that in a coherent video. And that is what this is. So since it took so long, um, if you don't mind, do us a huge favor. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm is to hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long, long way to make sure that other people find this information that can hopefully help them as well. So thank you in advance for that thumbs up. But in today's video, we're going to go over the details, the nitty gritty of everything. We're going to start with the XL, then we're going to do the XLT in this video. But you want to subscribe with the bell notification turned on because we're going to make another video that talks about the next trim level and the next trim level. And we're going to go all the way through all of the different series for the F-150 on the 2021 model. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start about the major product changes. Um, so this and I've, I'm sorry I've got some cheat sheets there's literally no way any human being can memorize all of this so I'm going to try and do as much talking as I can and who wants to sit here and watch me read to you that's not what this video is so but let's talk about the major product changes everybody's heard about the new 3.5 power boost motor that's going to be the basically an eco boost motor with a hybrid transmission made it together. And that's gonna be one of the ways that you can actually get the, the most version of the uh, Pro Power. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but that is gonna be one new engine is the 3.5 Power Boost full hybrid V6 engine. Um, let's talk about colors for a second. They've got a brand new antimatter blue, carbonized gray, guard, which is good to see that color come back. I'm really excited about Kodiak Brown. Back in the OG days of our YouTube channel, we've made plenty of videos talking about Super Duties and F-150s and Kodiak Brown. That is a very cool color and I'm excited to see that one come back. Smoked Quartz Tinted Clear Coat and then Space White. All of those are gonna be your colors, your new colors for 2021. And they've deleted a couple of colors. You need to know about that. Abyss Gray, Blue Jean, Magma Red, Magnetic, and Silver Spruce. Those colors are gone. So if you want one of those colors, you need to look into a 2020 model. All right, so let's talk about the interior. You got a couple new interior colors. You got Medium Dark Slate is gonna be available on the XL, XLT, and Lariat. Baja Tan is gonna be available on XLT and Lariat. Carmelo is going to be available on the Platinum model. And Admiral Blue is going to be available on the Limited models. So with that being said, let's talk about a little bit more about that pro power on board. And once again, I'm gonna get into the specific features on the XL here in just a second. Uh, but what we're looking at is the pro power on board. You have the, uh, the two kilowatts. Uh, that's gonna be optional to all the different series. You got the pro, pro power on board 2.4 kilowatt, so slightly higher. Uh, that's gonna be standard on the power boost full hybrid V6 engine. Um, and then I think there is also a Pro Power 7.2 kilowatts. Um, that is going to be optional to all trim levels, but it requires that same 3.5. Uh, power boost motor. So that's something you need to know about that. Um, all right. So let, next up, let's talk about the biggest gimmick that I think that Ford has kind of put out on this new F-150 is going to be the max recline driver and passenger seats. That is something that they're promoting hard on this new body style is the fact that the seats recline all the way to almost a completely flat. And then the seats actually fold up to make a flat place where you can take a nap. The problem is it's only going to be late availability, meaning that it's not going to be available at launch, and it's only going to be optional on the King Ranch Platinum and Limited. So you can't get it in a Lariat, can't get it in an XLT, and can't get it in an XL. And that by far covers your most of your buyers are buying those three bottom versions of the trim level. So I think Ford might have missed the mark a little bit there, but I get it. They, I mean... They got to make money on it somehow, right? There's a rock crawl mode added to the new FX4 model. So I think that's pretty cool. Usually in the past, you had rock crawl modes and stuff like that's added to like Broncos and the, um, and you've also got the, the Raptors got, I think a rock crawl mode, uh, but now it's going to be available inside of the FX4 standard. So I think that's pretty cool. Let me talk about some notable changes. They're going to be on the 21 model 
F-150, 100A base, 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 compared to the last year. So standard XL model, now you get auto hold. So if you've got a 2020 Ford Explorer, 2021 Ford Explorer, whatever, um, that you've got a feature that if you turn it on, you come to a stop at Chick-fil-A and it's stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, come to a complete stop, the car will hold you there until you tap the gas, then it starts to move. So it's a, it's a way that you're not having to hold your foot on the parking, not the parking brake, but the, the normal brake while you're sitting in stop and go traffic. You hit, come to a complete stop, pull your foot off the brake, you sit back and relax, it'll hold you there until you're ready to go. Um, so that's cool that that's standard across the board on the 2021 F-150s. Now the other thing, and this is gonna be huge, is that now for the 2021s, you have all of your F-150s have Sync 4. Uh, so standard across the board, you got an eight inch touchscreen. It's an LCD capacitive touch touchscreen. Uh, it's got wireless phone connection, cloud connected, app link, 911 assist. And my favorite is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you technically don't need to have navigation. You just plug your phone in and you got the maps right there. You got Waze, all that stuff's integrated. And I think that is fantastic. Uh, so something very, very important that you need to know. Uh, this is not new for 2021, but you do have the Ford Pass Connect with 4G LTE connection, the wireless hotspot, all of that kind of stuff is gonna be included uh, standalone on the 100A equipment as well. Uh, flipping through here, let's talk about what is the difference between the 100 a equipment group and the 101A equipment group. And that is going to be, it is basically comes with the XL power equipment group. Uh, so it comes with power windows uh, on the front, uh, front for the regular cab, uh, front and rear for the super cab and super cruise. So obviously you don't have a rear window. So basically power windows all the way around, uh, depending on the, uh, the cab configuration. You also have power door locks with the flip key and the integrated key transmitter. Um, so you've got the keyless entry, includes auto lock, uh, power tailgate lock, uh, perimeter lock, uh, perimeter alarm, illuminated entry, manual folding window, uh, mirrors, all that kind of stuff. But you also get the reverse sensing system and you also get the cruise control is also going to be what you pick up on that 101 over the 100A equipment group. Now you do have some freestanding packages and some options that you need to know about on the XL model. Uh, so for, uh, you can get a Chrome package, you can get a uh, power equipment group uh, optional on the 100A equipment group, which I know that's gonna be kind of confusing because we just talked about that's what comes with the 101A, but Ford makes this difficult, unfortunately. That's the reason we're even making this video. So once again, took a lot of time to make this and prepare for this, thumbs up it be the least I could ask of you. Uh, and if you have some comments, you know, questions, leave those down in the comments. We'll be happy to help you with that as well. Um, so the cool part is, is you can get an FX4 off-road package, but it's only available on a four-wheel drive, obviously, and it's only available on the 101A equipment group. So it is not even available on the 100A. All right, so now we're gonna get into some of the cool technology that's available. This is an option that is only available on the 101A equipment group, and that is gonna be the Ford Copilot Assist 2.0, excuse me, Ford Copilot 360 2.0. Very big difference between the Ford Copilot 360 2.0 and the Ford Copilot Assist 2.0. Um, what this one is, is that it, you have the option to get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, dynamic brake support, blind spot information system where you can see people in your blind spots. That's pretty nice. Lane keeping system with lane keeping alert, lane keeping aid, and then also the driver alert that alerts you how you probably need to pull over. All of that is included in that package. Uh, the rear view camera, auto high beams, reverse sensing, reverse brake assist. That's a new feature for the F-150 where if um, you're backing up maybe a little faster than you should and it, the vehicle senses something, it'll actually come to a stop and keep you from running over little Johnny or hopefully that doesn't happen, hopefully little Johnny's bike. Uh, but there you go, you, you have that option is included in that Ford Copilot 362.0. In addition to that, you also have post collision braking. You get in an accident, one of the big concerns you have is you roll off and, and do another accident because, it, well, guess what? You get an accident, the car knows it. Once it comes to a stop, it stays there, locks the brakes up for you. Um, now, the other thing that is really nice is you have the ability to go with another separate optional package on the 101A. And that's gonna be the tow technology package. Now, the only thing is, is that does require the class four tra trailer tow hitch, the trailer tow package, or the max trailer tow package. But basically what that does is it gives you a 360 degree camera that showcases all the way around. You have some assist features with being able to see the 
trailer tow, uh, the trailer system a little bit better when you're backing up. Uh, it comes with, the tow technology package comes with the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. You dial that knob and it turns the, the, the trailer a certain way. Uh, it comes with that 360 camera we just talked about. And then also the Smart Trailer Tow Connector, uh, which includes blind spot information with coverage for your trailer which is pretty cool. It can detect if someone's in your trailer's blind spot. All right, so moving back into the, the XL model and the available options, uh, you've got a Max Trailer Tow Package available. You can go with the 2.7 EcoBoost, which by the way, I didn't even mention, the standard engine on the XL is going to be the 3.3 liter V6 port fuel direct injection. Uh, auto start stop is standard across the board, sorry. Uh, but there's going to be some ways you can get rid of that. Uh, by the way, we got a video talking about getting rid of auto start stop. So uh, make sure you subscribe um, so that way you don't miss that video. Uh, so that pretty much takes care of, oh, uh, hey, cool. Uh, you also have the ability to go with the interior work surface. So if you've seen that one feature where the center console folds out and makes this big open desk, that is available. And cool part is that's available on the 100 and 101A equipment group, both of them. So that is a standalone option. And I was uh, very pleased to see that because I was afraid that Ford was going to do something stupid like they did with that fully reclining seat and make it only available on the high trim levels. No, that, that interior work surface, um, I thought I had somebody walk. I saw that big old wheel behind me. I thought I had somebody sneaking up trying to scare me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm going to fly through some of these, um, these standalone options, freestanding options is what Ford calls them. Um, and uh, so you have the axle upgrade, uh, which you can go with more aggressive gear ratios. Uh, you can actually go with a 20 inch six spoke uh, machined aluminum wheel, uh, but that requires the STX package. Let's talk about that STX package because the STX package is going to be back for the 2021 model and i'll tell you that the stx package is going to be in my opinion one of the bigger sellers uh, and the reason for that is because it comes with some really good options but there are some changes as well so now the stx comes with 18 inch wheels instead of 20s uh, but they're going to be so uh you know six spoke machined aluminum wheels uh body color front and rear bumpers you got the box side decals uh, electron, electronic rear window defroster, fog lamps, grill. A lot of that stuff is going to be carryover. Now you do have the option to upgrade your STX model to go with the 20 inch six spoke machined aluminum, the ones that you're similar to used to seeing um, on the old body style. It's going to look slightly different, but nonetheless, uh, you do have the ability to upgrade uh, the 18s to 20s. And then you also have unique black sport cloth, the console uh, with a flow through. And then uh, you also, but it's going to be column shifter mounted as well. So that is going back the way that you're used to seeing. It's not The STX is not gonna have the center console shifter. Going back into those options, black platform running boards are available, tailgate step is available, box link. Uh, so a lot of different options that I'll try and put there on the screen so you can just kind of see what is going on there. But reverse sensing system is available in the 101, 100A equipment group because it's standard on the 101. Extended range 36 gallon tank, thankfully that is back, uh, but it's not available with 3.0 power stroke diesel because as you know, the diesel's got the DEF fluid tank that, that takes place of uh, some of that gas tank or fuel tank. All right, here's uh, another thing that I think is huge in my opinion is going to be that sync for with enhanced voice recognition and it includes Sirius satellite radio. Eight inch LCD screen, uh, wireless phone connection, a lot of the features that we've already talked about. And that pretty much covers us on the XL model. So a lot of extra safety and technology features. Now keep in mind, I had to skip over a lot of it, like the accessories and things like that, because otherwise this video is gonna be 30 minutes long. And as I'm sure as I'm sitting here, watch this video end up being 30 minutes long anyways. So let's do this, let's not waste any time. Let's go and take a look into the XLT model. Before we jump into this XLT, I wanna remind you again, please hit that thumbs up button. It means the world to us, especially with the amount of prep work that it took. So please hit that thumbs up button so that way other people have a chance to uh, see this video and make sure that it is spread across the internet. Um, anyways, XLT model, let's talk about the standard equipment. It's gonna be the 3.3 V6 port fuel direct injection with auto start stop. That's gonna be your standard motor with some limitations, meaning four wheel drive, two wheel drive, the wheelbases and things like that. But that is gonna be by and large the, the base model motor. Um, on the exterior, you come standard with chrome. The bumper is gonna be front chrome with body color fascia. 
Uh, you've got uh, bumpers in the rear, fog lamps, halogen, by the way. You've got a different grill, all this other kind of stuff. Uh, Copilot 360 2.0, that is going to be nice because that is going to be standard in the XLT. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, dynamic brake support, uh, blind spot information system, lane keeping system. Keep that in your head. So lane keeping system is going to be available, not lane centering. So that's going to come later and bring up in our one of our next videos that we've got talking about the Lariat model is that it's got lane keeping where it'll bounce you back in the lane and keep you from running off the road, but it won't center you in the lane. Uh, so that is something you need to know. Rear view camera, auto high beams, reverse brake assist, reverse sensing system, and post collision braking. All of that is going to be standard on the XLT. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the different packages. So you've got three different packages on the XLT. So the XLT comes with three different equipment groups. You have a 300A equipment group, they're calling that the standard package. They have a 301A package. They call that the, the mid package because I know you guys love the bunny ears, uh, the air quotes. Uh, and then we also have the 302A equipment group, which is considered the high package. All right, so the, the 300A equipment group has got everything that we just mentioned right there. This kind of is the base model. It didn't come with any options. So what does the 301A equipment group come with that the 300A equipment does not? All right, so that's going to be the eight-way power driver seat uh, with power lumbar driver, manual lumbar, uh, lumbar support, uh, manual folding windows, power glass, side mirrors with heat, uh, security code, keyless entry keypad. So if you like to dial your number and then you can lock your keys in the car, you can get into your vehicle with the keys locked in it. That's a huge feature that I love on my truck. Um, you can't get that in the 300, but it comes standard in the 301. Eight-inch productivity screen in the instrument cluster. So you're driving down the road, the instrument cluster in front of you, eight inches, where you don't have that on the uh, the 300A and less. So XL models and then the, the 300A, guess what? You have to step with 301 to get that eight inch uh, productivity screen. Auto dimming rear view mirror comes standard as well on the 301A equipment group. And also the class four trailer hitch comes standard in the, uh, the 301A equipment group. Uh, and this, this one is a big one. So the dual zone electronic temperature control, meaning I'm really hot and I get to turn it down to 60. My wife is freezing her butt off. Uh, she can turn it up to 80. We're both happy. That is included in the 301A equipment group. Uh, prior to this video, the 2020 models and before you had to step up to the lariat to get that feature so that's pretty cool leather wrap steering wheel uh rear under seat storage uh which uh there are some limitations to that if you got the pro power on board um system uh but something you need to know about and then the other thing is going to be the sync four uh with the eight inch touchscreen so sync four with enhanced voice recognition comes with satellite radio uh comes with eight speakers um on the super super crew that is um, excuse me, five with the regular cab, seven with the uh, super cab and super crew. So, uh, sorry, I misspoke there. But you have the eight inch LCD capacitive touchscreen, uh, but you also have the ability to go with, if you get a 302A equipment group, the 12 inch screen. So, the big daddy, uh, that's going to be available in the uh, standard in the 302A equipment group, but we'll come back to the 302 here in a second. Um, so, so, if it's a 301, you get the Sync 4 voice activation eight inch screen, uh, you get the information on demand panel, wireless phone connection, which let me translate what that means. You have wireless Apple CarPlay. You don't even have to plug your phone in. You just, it, Apple CarPlay just pops up on the screen, which is really, really nice. You don't have to hunt for an iPhone cord or an Android phone cord or whatever. Uh, digital owner's manual, that's gonna be new as well. So you can search while you're stopped, you can search your entire touch screen for whatever it is you want on the vehicle and it'll come right there on the screen. I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, conversational voice command recognition. And uh, lastly is going to be the connected navigation. Um, and so that, that is uh, pretty, pretty sweet that you've got that available. All right, so that's what you get on the 301 that you do not get on the 300. Now, let's talk about what you get on the 302 that you don't get on the 301A equipment group. That is going to be the 10-way power driver seat and multi-adjustable power front passenger seat. Um, so that's nice. Heated front seats. All right, now this one, to me, this is huge. Intelligent access with push button start. Hallelujah. We've been asking Ford for this since 2015, and they're finally freaking giving us push button start on an XLT. Thank you, Ford. 
They finally listen to us. We, if we've been asking for it for five, six years and they finally do it, does that mean they're watching the channel? Nope. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's keep moving. I digress. 400 uh, watt outlet, so you have the power outlet in the in the cab of the vehicle. Uh, that's also nice. Remote start system uh, with remote tailgate release. That is new for the um, for the XLT. So in the prior years, you had to step up to the Lariat to get the remote tailgate release. Uh, XLT Chrome appearance package. Um, selection of XLT Sport Appearance Package removes the Chrome package, but it is a, it is included automatically with the 302 Equipment Group. LED reflector headlamps, another hallelujah, because I've had so many people ask, I love an XLT, but I don't like the headlights. Now they're giving you headlights, LEDs on lower trim levels. Thank you, Ford. Um, and I'll, guess what? You also get LED fog lamps with LED cornering lamps in fog lamps as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then you also have LED box lighting with zone lighting. So now you not only have the lighting in the bed of the truck, but it kind of lights up the entire zone of that behind the truck. Um, that is also included on that 302A equipment group. All right, so now that we've talked about the included options inside of each one of those particular packages, let's talk about the different freestanding packages. So once again, you've got the equipment groups, freestanding packages, uh, and then you've also got the freestanding options, the standalone options. All right, so three freestanding packages. You've got the 360 camera. Um, let's see here. You've got the Ford Copilot Assist 2.0. Keyword assist. If you watched the first part of this video, you talked about there's a difference Ford Copilot 2.0 and Ford Copilot Assist. The assist, this is what you get intelligent adaptive cruise control. So not only is it looking for the car in front of you and slowing down and speeding up based on the car in front of you, but it also can read the speed limit signs on the side of the road. And if you choose, you can have the car automatically adjust your speed based on what the speed, sign, speed limit sign says. And you can also have a tolerance level. So if you say, hey, I always like to go five miles over the speed limit, you set your tolerance to plus five miles an hour. Um, and then when it sees that sign, it will, if it, if it drops down to 55 miles an hour, it, it'll go 55 miles an hour plus five is 60. So it'll automatically change your, your desired speed. I think that is stinking cool. Uh, but you got the intelligent adaptive cruise with stop and go lane centering. So not just lane keeping where it'll bounce you back in the lane, but it'll actually, as long as you have your hands on the road, it'll actually keep you in the middle of that lane as you're driving down the road, as long as it can see the lines in the road. Um, and in addition to that, it also has the ability to see the curb or the, the exterior. So if, like, let's say there's no outer line on the road. This system is so advanced that it can not only see the lines on the road, but it can also see the edge of the road itself, the edge of the pavement. I mean, that's pretty cool too. Um, and then it also comes with the connected built-in navigation system. All right, and then also interior work surface that is also available as an option across the board on the XLTs. Uh, tow technology package, which is kind of nice. You do have uh, that, as I've mentioned to you probably already. I can't remember because I've talked about so many different things already. But the tow technology package comes with quite a di few different things. It comes with um, the pro trailer backup assist, 360 degree camera, reverse trailer guidance, uh, and it comes with the, uh, the trailer brake controller and then smart trailer tow connector. Once again, lots of papers here, and sorry I'm having to rely on some of these, but there's just so much to remember that I'm never going to. This video would not be possible if it was not for printouts. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I would love to make these available for downloads, but unfortunately it is a proprietary thing, and so I'm not actually allowed to share it. Um, I don't want Ford to get mad at me, but if you Google 2021 Ford, F-150 ordering guide, you'll probably find it pretty easily, wink, wink. Uh, so anyways, some other features that you have, you've got XLT Chrome Appearance Package, XLT Sport Appearance Package, FX4 Off-Road Package, which is only available in the four-wheel drive, obviously. There's a lot to go over. Oh, 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 but this is a big one, this is a big one. BNO Sound System by Bang & Olsen. That is going to be available as an option on the 302A equipment group. And that does come with eight speakers and a subwoofer on the crew cab. So that is gonna be very, very nice. Now they've got an upgraded version of the B&O audio system. Uh, I think it's called B&O Unleashed. It's gonna be available on the higher trim levels. Once again, subscribe with the bell notification so you don't miss that video. We'll talk about the details of that in a coming video. 
Um, so that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, oh, this is also pretty cool. You got partitioned lockable low fold flat storage. So if you've ever seen the storage compartment in the F250, the new body style F250, everybody, oh man, this thing is awesome. This thing's awesome. It is now coming to the F150 and it is optional across the board on the XLT models. And so that kind of concludes our little video that, not a little, probably pretty daggum long, but what it does is it hopefully gives you guys a little bit better of an insight on the new F-150 and how to order it. Now, one thing, if you've made it this far in the video, um, this will hopefully help you answer the question. I probably should have talked about it in the front, but the ordering banks, as the time that I'm making this video, they're open. So it is uh, the 15th, it's Saturday, August the 15th, the time I'm making this video, and the ordering banks are open, and you can spec it out and you can even place your order. Ford will probably not be pulling these orders until November or December, if I had to guess, straight up guess, because keep in mind the Rona, coronavirus, uh, might change those plans completely, we don't know. Um, but that is what we're looking at. If you want to spec your vehicle with our dealership, then we would be absolutely honored to have that chance and you might be shocked at the competitive pricing we can help you with. Uh, call us, the number is right there on the screen, uh, or if it's not, it's 205-491-0000. Uh, if you want some more information about specking and optioning that vehicle for you specifically. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you haven't already done so, smash that thumbs up button. I know I've asked for it a lot in this video, but we feel like we've earned it with a lot of preparation to try and make it simple because this crap is confusing. <laughs> it really, really is. So um, uh, the one last thing, if you don't mind, follow me on Instagram. My personal handle is Mitchell S. Watts. Um, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video.